Well, a lot of what we do would be viewed as very high risk uh, for, say, the pharmaceutical industry uh, and very expensive. And so the likelihood of a new drug, a candidate drug, becoming a drug is very small. So it's estimated that if you start with 10,000 candidate drugs, maybe you'll get one new drug. And you'll spend one to two billion dollars to get there. Uh, some of that expense is the drugs that fail, but that's the estimated cost of, of a new drug. So it's very expensive, and then you uh, realize that all along the path of developing a new drug, there are obstacles that can uh, result in uh, killing that drug. Uh, one of the things we're learning now is that a lot of drugs may get all the way through safety testing in animals and into people, and then they don't really work the way people had hoped they work, or they don't work better than a drug that we already have. And so it dies, and it just sits on a shelf. And we've begun working with industry to what we call repurpose these compounds or these candidate drugs to see maybe they can be reused. And so a lot of the pharmaceutical industry uh, companies have agreed to open their libraries of drugs, candidate drugs that died for some reason, and let young people look at them and see if there might be something special that could apply to a disease they never even thought about. And uh, that's just begun in the last few years, and we're very excited about that, and, 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 and will result in drugs moving quickly 